what is good ape nation it's stock j back with another video and in this one i'm going to be talking about the one and only amc stock and what you should be looking out for for the future i'm also going to be talking about the moas the amc squeeze and why i believe we're slowly getting closer and closer and closer now this is not clickbait this is not one of those videos where it's just bs i'm not saying amc is going to just squeeze overnight but i'm going to show you data I'm going to show you all the data from our inflation rates and what the Fed just announced and why all of these things are aligning very well for a squeeze, a market-like squeeze for many of these quote-unquote meme stocks and why I'm still very, very bullish. Now, before I break down this thesis, I do have to mention a couple of very important things. First, as you guys know, I'm not a financial planner, so please don't take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, but benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below in the description. I do know that Weeble uses payment for order flow, but with this offer, you have a chance to get free AMC shares for either Weeble or another brokerage. It could really help you big time. Now, let me just explain this real quick. If you sign up with my link down below, and this limited time offer and you deposit any amount of money whether it's one dollar or a hundred bucks you're guaranteed five free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars so that's free money that you are going to get with that you know with those stocks you could always sell them for cash and with that cash you could buy amc shares or you could transfer it into another brokerage if you guys want you have the power to do that and you can get the, those free amc shares so if you want this opportunity it's a limited time opportunity it ends in just two weeks so please check it out to get some free amc shares with that out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at amc currently it is dropping and i want you guys to remember something we're not in the squeeze phase right now so don't worry too much about the share price as long as this thing does not go to zero in my opinion it has insane squeeze potential so amc was shorted very very hard but this entire market if you look at the reverse repo market it's very over leveraged now what happened was in the usa we had these lockdowns since 2020 right we had those big lockdowns and obviously our economy started to reopen back around 2021 but the thing is the effects of all the money that was printed the trillions of dollars printed in such a short period of time is really showing its toll now look at look at inflation in america we had 1.7 percent inflation back in february of 2021 and since then it's just been soaring and soaring and soaring it went to two percent four percent five percent seven percent we're almost at ten percent right now that's insane that's absolutely insane and as a result of inflation soaring the way it is it's not good for our economy we're artificially seeing our gdp grow essentially but that's not healthy it's not growing the way it should it's growing because the prices of everything are becoming really expensive the cost to borrow money is still pretty low and it, we don't want it growing too fast because we're at risk of these issues getting worse it's not that money velocity is increasing it's because the cpi data is getting higher and higher and higher so as a result when your economy is growing too fast this could actually hurt uh, employment in america it could also hurt how we end up functioning for the future so we want an economy that grows steadily not too fast right because in too much inflation is not good so as a result of this we're starting to see the fed do something that a lot of people were kind of surprised about i mean to me it was no surprise uh, as someone that studies economics it's not really a surprise what's happening is they're tightening on policy and they're getting very strict because what's happening is when they start tightening their policy and raising interest rates they're essentially going to most likely cause a recession it's extremely likely they will and this recession is going to have a very big effect on these market makers these shorts the ones that keep on trying to destroy amc and gamestop so what's happening is it was just announced by brainerd that she you know she's ready to be a lot more how should i say hawkish she's no longer that dovish person that a lot of people thought she would be and given that the recovery has been like a little bit stronger than some people have thought what they're saying is that they expect the balance sheet to shrink considerably more rapidly in the previous recovery with significant larger caps once again that's going to be insane because when they reduce the balance sheet there's going to be less money pumped into this economy that's artificially pumping it so as a result when interest rates start going up 
I expect a 50 basis point rate hike relatively soon. So just the news of the Fed's brainer just talking about this caused the market to take a massive hit. What's going to happen when they actually start tightening very strictly? Think about that. We're not going to see one 50 basis point rate hike. There, there could be three, four, five, six of them in just the next, I don't know, year. It's going to be insane. So just think about that. I'm not saying that the market has to just crash extremely hard like it did during the Great Depression. We might see a big correction. We probably will. And it is going to be severe or it would be severe if it wasn't for, you know, all the money that's still being artificially pumped in. But like I said before, this is going to cause some very, very bad effects for the shorts. Looking at our unemployment rate. We could see the fact that, yeah, it's showing us numbers that unemployment's not as bad. And this is actually not the truth because what's happening is there aren't as many people that are part of the labor particip participation force because a lot of people are still at home, right? They're still on payroll. And with the less people that are actually available to work, the unemployment rate still seems fine when it actually is not nearly as good as it may seem. So, like I said, we're not in the greatest of positions. These banks are completely over leveraged. The shorts are also over leveraged. So are these market makers. And what's probably going to happen is, yeah, we're going to see a correction come very, very soon. This correction is going to cause a lot of red. Now, like I said before, there are the payment protection team may start to artificially pump some money to stop us from literally collapsing, right? And the Fed may play a role too. I'm sorry, the SEC will play a role too. So they don't want the entire economy to collapse. And we are you know, in a position that can actually cause that to happen. But what I think is going to happen is they're going to stop the collapse, but we're still going to see a lot of red. Now, AMC, it's going to tank when the market tanks temporarily. But then once these rate hikes are set in, once the SEC finally starts to do something, which I believe they can, I know I don't fully trust them, but I do believe that they can do something. And once we start to see the effects of unemployment and inflation have their toll with all these things affecting the market, with all the changes coming from monetary policies across the globe, there's, in my opinion, going to be this big, big squeeze-like event that's coming. And I think it's not just AMC. These this entire meme stock, you know, facade, all these meme stocks out there, they're going to see the same result as a result of this. And the reason why, and I think that's the one thing some people may not even remember, is because these changes hurt the collateral of these shorts to maintain their positions. It's going to become way more expensive. It's going to be way tougher on them. So we could see them get forced. What could also happen is once they're forced to start covering their shares, you know, once we start to see margin calls potentially come, when they start covering, there's going to be a lot of buying, there's going to be a lot of holding. And as long as apes hold for those high numbers, I see this thing soaring to the absolute moon. So the catalyst for the MOAS, or at least one of them, it came from the defaults on this debt, the lack of collateral and the over leveraged market that we are in, I mean, if you look at the reverse repo market, we're seeing banks that don't have as much faith in the market as they did before. And the Fed, right? And this is not going to cause an, an overnight MOAS, but it slowly is going to set things up better. So I'm not giving financial advice or promising anything, right? But based off technicals and based off the data we're seeing, it is most definitely or most likely the case. So like I said before, AMC is not in squeeze mode yet. Okay. It's not in squeeze mode yet, but once we get there, that's when we're going to see big price action because we're not there yet. It does not matter if we're trading at 20 or even 15 to me. It does. It doesn't matter because when this thing squeezes, once the FOMO kicks in, once market makers turn the tide, it's going to be incredible. And right now, the environment, the world we're in is slowly falling into place. So when it comes to the squeeze, like I said, it's not overnight. It may take a few months. It may take another year, but you got to be prepared for it. 
And you got to be prepared to wait because things are aligning way better than a lot of people think. Anyways, I want to thank you for listening. Remain calm, cool, and collected. And be ready because something big is in the works. And you got to be patient. Thank you for listening. Have a great rest of the day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.